Hey guys, Trepany Vortex here, and we're back in Elder Scrolls Online, finally. Um, I was so busy with Halloween, making other people's costumes, my family, and I didn't even have time to make my own costume, so I just had to wear one of my old ones. It was crazy. Absolutely insane. And now that I have some time in between my current project, I can now record. So we're doing one of the last few missions, Shadow of Sancrator. We're going to get the Amulet of Kings. Uh, probably going to take most of us, probably all going. And uh, yeah, let's go see. Let's get this started. Hello, Baron. And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. Now we have a chance to make things right. Perhaps, but I wonder, will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the Amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. Well, tell me about Sancrator. It was a holy city of the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Saitahan hid the Amulet of Kings in the catacombs beneath the city. And where is it located? It is in the mountains of Calovia, the land of my youth. I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. Speak to Sizerhan. He can answer your questions far more accurately than I. Alright. Sai? The time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sancrator. Not underestimate the dangers that await us. Mm -mm. Ages past, Sancrator was a place of light. But I fear that is no longer the case. Must be prepared for anything. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great hoax of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sancrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic. A ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the ring of Stendar's mercy should open the vault doors. Portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. Could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut, Shut up, Shut up, Thorn. Thorn.
brings you to Sacred Tor, old friend. Looking for an amulet, perhaps? Marco, how did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every movement? Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Moloch Vaughn, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Baal. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand. Darn! Instead, you chose to align yourself with Mongols and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! And the Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines! You mean your ward of Stendhal, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless, law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. Margo has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Menemarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. We may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Are you well enough to continue? Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. Through that gate lies the Crypt of Heroes. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. Aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? The amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Baal from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Manim Marco.
this is a god. Please, a moment, my friends. I, I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Uh, I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I, I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Zet's tears. I thought I could handle this. And the Marco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. Are you going to be alright? I've pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. The Marco filled my head with shattered memories. They're like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into me. We'll take a moment. Catch your breath. That voice. The Marco's voice. Taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end. He never broke my will. Are you going to be able to continue and make it through? I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now. <sighs> my pain has subsided. Let us make haste and finish this. Where do we go from here? We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred must take care to respect their resting place. Okay. We'll go talk to Lyris first. Lyris? You better keep an eye on me. I'm getting ready to punch Tharn again. <laughs> is Sai going to be alright? Sai Sahan is nothing if not determined. He once told me that achieving victory is like wrestling an ogre. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the ogre is tired. You'll see this through. Don't worry. What about you? Me. I'll chase Manamarco to the furthest corners of oblivion if I have to. Vengeance is a powerful motivator. And I don't know if you've realized it yet, but under this hardened shell, I'm an optimistic fool who'd take a blade for any one of you. Did you and Sai ever talk about what happened in the Halls of Torment? We're two of a kind. Stoic. Isn't that what people call us? Our hearts are connected, but... We don't talk about our feelings. We don't even understand them ourselves. Maybe we'll talk about it someday, but today is not that day. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Let's get going. Sets tears. I'm gonna have to click through this. One moment. All right. Let's go. Looks like we're going this way first. All right. Dragon Guard Tomb. Tombs and necromancers. The shrine is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite anxious to see you. Again, King of Worms defiles the memory of the honored dead. I have no wish to disfigure the corpses of my old comrades of the Dragon Guard. But we must consecrate the shrine. Well, let's take a shortcut. Bleeding damage doesn't do much here. But I'll take what I can get. 
Oh, there's some more guys. They don't even stand a chance. Whoa, did they just phase through the gate? That is not a regulation move. Looks like we've made it, possibly. Looks like there could be some more waiting. Well, Shrine of the Divines. Ooh. Stendar, God of mercy, charity, and justice. I'm floating. Help us to right the wrongs of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. Now, we have only to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. Shortcut. <laughs>